Whoa, it's definitely different from a single module. Who figured that there will be an actual lesson to this? Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday in our day, in our chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is wiring 10 400 kV modules in series. So let's get it. By the way, all the stupid experiments right here, I'll watch them all. But before we get started, love us out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Okay, so in my last vlog, I, well, in the last experiment, I tested five in series and it was kind of lame. So let's see if <laughs> adding another five will make a difference or not. Who freaking knows? Let's do this. These are the five from the last experiment and there are one, two, three, four, five empty spaces. So that's perfect. It would be so so cool if this would just work but well it's probably not going to so wiring them in series doesn't work that well but maybe wiring them in parallel will actually yield another result oh my goodness there is these are creating an EMP which is totally confusing this tool right here it's totally getting glitched out this can't be good. Anyways, let's just add all of them and then I will call it a freaking vlog. This is so stupid. It would be so cool if this would just work. Why are you doing this to me? At least it's looking crazy. So many freaking wires and modules. Alrighty, this was the last one. Oh my goodness. Yo, I think I don't know what's going on, but I think I would need way more power. That is, that is for sure weird. I mean, it's working, but... Whoa, it's definitely different from a single module. That is for sure something else. The frequency is just... Maybe that's the thing. In the end, they are pulses, so the frequency seems to be way, way, way higher, of course. But the timing just isn't right for a really long gap to uh, for a really long arc to form. Maybe this is a valid theory. This is reminding me of these twenty kV modules of, with an arc. Let's try something right there. It's still not lighting on fire though. Almost caught on fire. That is crazy, I like it. So the frequency will get amped up, but not necessarily the spark length. Look at the freaking amount of arcs. Now that is one crazy thumbnail right there, or probably not, I don't know. But who figured that there will be an actual lesson to this? I'm holding on to my theory that there are just a lot of individual arcs. It's still weird because it did work. It did work with two in series, it, like, it's weird. But I'm still holding on to this theory. So yeah, wiring them in series doesn't do a ton. But there is still a question about what will happen if you wire them in parallel. So let's find out about that in this vlog. But that's enough progress for this one. Smash that like button the way. I thankfully didn't smash the modules <laughs> today. Bang the bell like crap. To never miss stupid experiments. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.